So, how are you today? It's the morning for you, no? Yes, it's morning. Yes, I'm wonderful. I'm in LA and it's going to be a beautiful day, so I'm great. How are you? Beautiful. Well, for me, it's the evening. It's six in the evening in Germany. We had actually yesterday and today, it's been warm. Somehow 14, 14 degrees or something like that, which is already warm. And uh, before that, it was really cold, and now we are getting some. But you know, I'm Costa Rican, born in the in the tropical <laughs> part of the world, so I I need this <laughs> to keep myself warm. In in Germany, it's always cold for me. So. <laughs> So let's see. So we, um, I was telling people as well that we are joining to talk about energy and how it can help us to, let's say, accelerate our awakening. Yeah. Yes, so would absolutely. you, would you like to introduce yourself a bit? Sure, absolutely. So my name is Kate. I'm the founder of Dream Build Network. And we are all about law of attraction and manifesting a more peaceful reality. And we work a lot with ancient healing modalities, but really trying to make it fun, really trying to make it more approachable and practical for people because a lot of people can get intimidated or overwhelmed by all of this. You know, it's a, energy is a, a very, very big thing to take on. You know, it's a very infinite. And so uh, we're all about just really making this fun and uniting humanity and, uh, and yeah, seeing how far the human potential can really go. Wow. Yes, this uh, this is actually the the dream we all have, no? to make the world a bit um, more beautiful and more peaceful <laughs> as a community. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so how how you are um, qi, qigong and reiki master, no? Yeah, so I teach Qigong, which is a moving meditation, and it's such a beautiful practice. It really transformed my life, and I'm so passionate about teaching it because even in a small group, the effects that can happen with the people around us, with, with our personal lives, it's so exponential. It really, it's mind-blowing what can happen. You're, you watch every part of your life transform with such an easy, simple practice, and it matches and mirrors nature, so it's very innate. It's very, um, very peaceful. It's really great for balancing the body and the emotions and giving you more um, inner peace. And that's really where we're at. We need to create peace within in order to see peace in our, in our reality. Exactly. We need to create it, no? In, yes. In our heart, actually. Mm -hmm. yes. Definitely. <laughs> so I, I do work with the Kundalini activation process. And for me, it has been also a life-changing experience. More than life-changing, it's been an expansion of consciousness, no? To know what else is possible. And I'm sure I don't know much yet of, of whatever, of all the things that are possible for us, no? That we are really creative beings and then we are really uh, we could create we can we have the choice to create peace and love or to create destruction and war and and more for, far from there to experience the energy this level of life that usually you don't get uh, to 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 experience it no because it's somehow hidden to us but um, if we surrender to the process then we we are able to experience it and to live it and to accept it into our lives and then it it expands consciousness this is the way I experience it so, yeah yeah, absolutely. You know, it's an exciting time in a sense because we are waking up to our innate powers and we're exploring healing and, and energy practices more and more. And it, it's really such a, a wild experience. Like yesterday, the treatment that you gave me rocked me. <laughs> it, you know, I had such a beautiful session with you yesterday and it kept continuing throughout the day. I would just keep feeling these waves of energy 
and I had the most beautiful sleep and I just woke up feeling like a new person. I mean, we really can heal on such deep, deep levels just with energy. I mean, everything is energy. We live in an energy matrix, you know, and we're all energy beings and it's time for us to really step into our power and to, to really go within and, re and realize that we're all connected. You know, that that's the, that's the beauty of this is that even from across the world, you sent me energy and I felt it and received it from in the physical sense and the emotional sense and just in that in the consciousness sense and so it's it's powerful beautiful stuff and it's it's so such an honor to meet you and to, to be you know working with you and collaborating <laughs> yes it's for me as well it's like um i i think the the energy and the level of vibration in which we are like peace and and love and all of this um, really attracts similar and and it attracts to our life what what is needed to to do our work and to be in service so it's, it's always um, you know the the kundalini activation process is is um, the path of surrender where where we open up ourselves to to receive this energy and to receive whatever it brings to us, which is sometimes and most of the time a lot of information about life that we don't really get it cognitively. You know? it's, it's more a knowing of the whole body, of your whole being. And it's been for me like this, um, the path of surrender. So to get deeper into it and what does it really mean to surrender. And, and for me, it's about accepting everything that comes and to meet life and everything what happens with an open heart, uh, whatever it is, even if it's, if it sometimes is hard and sometimes we think it's going to break us. But nothing absolutely nothing can break us uh, if we meet it in, in love and, and open and it takes a lot of courage to do this <laughs> yeah <laughs> like uh, sometimes it's, it's really hard but to practice all the time this path of surrender and of letting go letting go of expectations of what we think it should be happening now but just accepting life as it is and going in this flow and so uh, beautiful things happen like uh, we meeting up for example now over a lot of distance eight hours or not nine hours uh, difference time and we are here talking about this is uh, is already a kind of miracle no? <laughs> really is and that's law of attraction it's that we're both putting out an intention from our heart center and i think a lot of people when they when they hear something like be in your heart center they're not quite sure what that means and they forget that our heart is actually an electromagnetic energy field that it's literally putting out frequencies to the unified field to the quantum field and that when we're in that space and we get out of the analytical mind that's when we really step into our true innate power to connect on deeper levels and to manifest more profoundly and if right now we can get out of that fear state and all of that conditioning that's happening and we can drop into our heart and really transcend and, and you know really raise the vibration we will watch our whole reality transform and so people like us are connecting more and more because we're vibrating at a high level and we're magnetizing each other and it's really it's miraculous like you said it, it's beautiful it's it's, it's it so much hope and so much um, excitement about what's manifesting in our world because it's easy to focus on what's wrong but the more we focus on what's wrong and the fear, the more we're gonna amplify it. Whatever we focus on, we empower. So it's time to get into that space of love, to connect more to nature, to each other, and to our own selves, to really take that time to go inward and heal. Now it's, it's time for global healing. We all know that, you know? So it's um, just time to explore different avenues of healing, like Kundalini awakening or Reiki or Qigong or meditation. There's so many different avenues and you have to find what works for you. You know, so I, that's why I love the work. Exactly. That, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, this is um, another tool. These are all tools that are going can help us. And I call this talk between you and me uh, how energy work can accelerate our awakening as a kind of um, provocative, right? Because there is not such a thing as accelerating, right? <laughs> is um, awakening happens to us and it might happen in a bit of insight that you get and then you are more awakened and, and more and more and it happens to us it is given um, and it I, I may I'm having the experience that it happens when I let go of of the mind and try to be more in the heart and and feel life as it is and indeed these are tools that help us to to reach other levels of consciousness however i always tell people in my classes that the energy will not do the work for you right we still have to do the job <laughs> we still have to clean up uh, our life to to heal our trauma to face our limitations to to be courageous to look in the mirror and and see yourself as you are and accept yourself as you are and love yourself just like this and from there we can advance into change what that is going to be the changing of habits, changing of believing, of thinking patterns and all of that, which are habits because at the end, we are now the product of what we did all the time, what got planted into us when we were ch children. And and all of that, is, it's, been, it's been a practice, right? So if we want to change our life, we have to practice new things other things and all these uh, practices like qigong reiki and kundalini activation process they help us to get more in contact with who we really are right it help us to get more relaxed to relax the body to learn to to habit this body which is our instrument to to have all the experiences here in this realm and at the end is about it's up to us and the choices we do and the choices we make every day that will help us to accelerate this this journey is not nothing outside us it's very true and i think that's a great point is that there is a lot of work involved it's not that you just get all of this overnight. You know, healing is a, it's a lifelong practice, honestly. And law of attraction, same thing, and, and just manifesting is that it, it's, it's a daily thing where you have to really stop and, and observe. What am I thinking? What am I feeling? Because our thoughts have an electric charge in the quantum field, and then our emotions have a magnetic charge. So 24-7, you're broadcasting this signature, this energy, these waves to the unified field. And so you want to be really conscious of what you're putting out there. And it takes work. It takes a lot of work to stop yourself and say, oh, I'm being really negative or, oh, I'm in a state of fear. I need to shift. And you're just constantly shifting, you know, step by step. And so it is a daily practice. And, you know, it, it, that's that's the beauty of it, though, is that it's worth it. You, you When you really commit to this, when you really make energy healing and power of the mind, your, your soul focus in your life, it's an everyday thing that's when you really, you transcend and you evolve and you become a much better version of yourself and you watch everyone around you be so impacted by the, the new frequency, the new vibration that you're that you're putting out there and projecting. And so in that sense, it, it, it is a lot of work, but it's, it's absolutely worth it. And I encourage everyone to just experiment, you know, don't remove all the judgment and just get into this curiosity, you know, frame, frame of mind and, and really explore. You know, you're, I'm always finding new new things. Oh, this is interesting. Let me try this. And like, you know, just the, what you did yesterday was a different healing modality. I had never tried that one. And it was so profound. And, it, and I'm just so excited and, you know, to learn more. It just, you have to be the perpetual student when it comes to healing. Yes. 
And how how do you experience it yourself, like in your own journey? How how do I experience? Yes. Um, I mean, energy. Oh my gosh! As far as energy goes, I've I've tried so many different healing modalities and had so many profound spiritual and energetic experiences. It, it's mind blowing. You really you tap into the magic of the universe. You tap into this miraculous um, reality that you know so many of us have, have shut off or blocked or pushed away. And when you open up your mind and you open up your heart. You watch everything transform. You learn to be this magnetic being in a magnetic world, and you realize that that you're way more powerful. That you have these innate superpowers buried within you, and you just get curious and you have fun with this. I, I think that this is what brings me the most joy. I mean, I've, I've read um, a lot about how law of attraction can actually lead you to enlightenment, and that makes sense to me because you really open up and expand and you you uh you really learn to harness and tap into the most beautiful you know um parts of life the human potential when you really explore this it's you realize how limitless this is and then how limitless you are and this the social narrative that we have right now is so disempowering and i'm just really hoping and and really setting intentions that everyone can get excited about where we're at and learn to, you know, just shift. You know, instead of doing what we've been doing, we have to do a 180 and shift in a new direction. And that of course involves energy and healing and power of the mind. So now it's time to to step into that role and he said accelerate. I I like how you said that because it's true. We can accelerate the ascension. We can accelerate consciousness and and what we're doing. We're creating all of this. We're the architects of our future and and we're not the victims of our future. We get to create. So let's have fun and co-create. Yes, it's true. We are creators. Powerful creators of our reality. Yes. <laughs> so I um I don't know, do you have any question for me or uh, is I I <laughs> I have some questions for you. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about how energy has changed your life and how it's impacted you. Well, as I said before, it it, it changed my life in the sense that I got this expansion of the energy part, the energy level of our being. And that this is something that every one of us has. This energy is in us. For some, it's dormant. For some, it is awakened, even if they don't consciously know it, right? It's a very creative energy. It's a very life. It's the life force energy. So it's just full of life and joy, and and it helps. Me, it it had actually this energy work or or the the energy itself has given me the joy of life back. Yeah, I had in few years ago. I had a very difficult time dealing with. Um, well, many things <laughs> dealing with life that I knew I had to change, but somehow it was very difficult. I am describing all of this in, in my book. I'm writing a book about all of that. And soon some uh, you might have the, <laughs> the book <laughs> before you and read all the story. I don't want to go now in the story, but um, I must say that the work with the energy gave me back that joy for life, this love for life, any kind of life, right? The nature, the, the animals, I, I see now life different through this energy because I am able to perceive that energy in others. So it's a very lively process. It's a very, every encounter is new and refreshing. And even if I know the person already, even if I know it a lot, every time I meet them, the energy is different, right? So it's, it's a very awakened, this is right here, right now. And, and the energy is 
in the moment is life. And it has changed my way to see life. And um, it changed the way I see my life as well now, and the way I live it. And I try to live it more consciously, of course. Because it's true that we, all we are transmitting, the vibrations that we are sending into the world through emotions or thoughts and all of this, it really has an impact. It really has an impact in, in whatever level. We probably don't know the levels and the power of our words, of our thoughts, because we don't know that there are a lot of realms we don't know yet. But for sure, um, I am sure, and I think the Curse of Miracles says that, that every thought we have has an impact and an effect in some level. So there we need really to take responsibility and I I think and I try to do that, to take the responsibility for what I think, what I feel and to, to change it as soon as I, am, I get conscious about it and to, to try not to repress the emotions because that will never work. It is exactly that that is keeping humanity and is keeping people in, in the trauma world because the people and we are actually in the society used to repress the emotions. And, and this is, is exactly what we don't have to do. We need to lose that uh, to, to be more courageous, to feel the emotions. They are not going to kill us, yeah? The lifespan of an emotion is 90 seconds, yeah? Science is telling that, it's not me. So, um, I see the one question of uh, someone is asking how we became conscious of our own energy. And we're going to answer that in a second. I was telling just that, um, oh, I lost my thought. <laughs> no, exactly. To take responsibility. That is one of the most important things also in healing, in the process of healing our trauma and healing our life. There we need to be courageous and take responsibility to heal and stop blaming others, stop, stop blaming parents and everyone that might have said to us things or done whatever, uh, and take responsibility now for our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, to feel them and to that will give us back the power to know this is not going to kill you. No. Right. Yeah. And I was saying, so the lifespan of an emotion is 90 seconds, actually. And what happens is that we get stuck in the thinking, right? And then we call our friend and then we talk about it again. And then we cannot understand how people can be so stupid. <laughs> None of that. And this keeps that emotions alive, that our habit of repeating the story maybe one day two days some people repeat it 10 years and life passes by while you are getting you are still stuck in something so we need to let go of all all of this yeah yes. let go of all of that stuff and and start a new life with in self responsibility yeah yeah i absolutely we, we do, we hold on to all these emotions. And if you look at our society, men especially have been conditioned to hold emotion in and, and they've been taught that it's not, you're not masculine if you cry, but tears are proof that, that energy turns into form, that, that, that emotions are actually just energy in motion. And when you hold it within, it gets trapped in your energy pathways, your meridians. And that's actually what causes disease. So it's actually at this point, 
it, it's just it's it's a um, it's like a crime against your health to hold in all those those emotions and all of that energy you have to release it and it, it you know whether it's an energy practice or it's something as simple as singing or dancing or going for a run or just playing in nature just find a way to remove that energy to release that energy and really recycle that to nature because we have to let go and you see in our society so many people hanging on to the stories of our, our collective past we do this individually but we're doing this as a collective as well where we're so stuck in the past and we're so we're still fighting about the past we're still harboring all these emotions and um, low low frequencies around our collective history and if we can let that go and, and realize okay the only thing that matters is the here and the now what energy what frequency are we out into the world and we become a place of heart instead of the, the mind that wants to you know replace the mind as a really disempowering you know narrative if we can shift that dialogue and really step into a, a new direction we're going to watch everything transform and you know it, it's really a matter of slowing down and getting into the flow state and and realizing wait i don't have to be so resistant of everything i can i can really create you know from my from my heart center with that energy so it's exciting in that sense. What, what do you, would you say is your best advice for humanity at this point? Ooh. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> but I would say that, again, self-responsibility. Stop blaming others. Stop blaming politicians. Stop blaming parents. Oh. Something happened with my phone and left. <laughs> and take, yeah, and and <laughs> take responsibility for your life, for your happiness, for your your realization. Yeah, nothing, nobody, not even the energy is going to do the job for you. Yeah, we we have a free will. And this free will is respected every time. So we always have a choice. And I'm not talking about um, the manifestation level because that is actually the last, uh, the, the, the things we see manifested like behaviors or material stuff around us. This is the last thing, uh, the, the level of manifestation at the level of creating is where we have to change and take responsibility on what are we doing. So, and yeah, I would say that is is something I still need uh, to practice. I do it every day, like every time. If there is something happening, a conflict, or or, or you know, sometimes you discuss about the current situation, the virus, and everything. Everyone has a uh, an opinion about it and I say okay so I do it for myself I take responsibility for that what I am creating with this in all of this chaos right so this would be that so and someone uh, asked right now about uh, this how did you become aware of your own energy would you I like to say about that something uh, well, for me personally, I had always experienced energy on a really um, deep level. I was always really sensitive. To, I mean, to the point where it was really uncomfortable and really painful. I just, I would, somebody would yell, and I would feel like ah, just overwhelmed. So I, I didn't have a choice. Really, in my face, it was when I started to, um, you know, study the law of attraction. I watched the movie The Secret. Um, started really getting into the, the books and and learning that everything is energy. There's nothing that is not energy. Even physical matter is energy. So then I started to realize how powerful my thoughts were and my emotions, and that I was creating everything. And I, I started to do a law of attraction experiment and. That's when I started writing books about this and I just the more I dove in the more kind of obsessed with it I became because I realized how much truth there was and how much potential humanity has that we have not even tapped into which should just in and of itself give us so much hope that that we haven't explored our innate gifts and powers and and when we do we can we can shift everything and it, it you, you made a really great point too about we have to take responsibility and that's the thing i started taking responsibility for my energy and started to realize how it was affecting everyone around me and then they started to take responsibility and it, it just creates this ripple effect 
And so if we can all just go in and take responsibility for ourselves, that will affect the entire collective here. That will affect everyone in, in your life and on a global scale, we'll all be rising together. And so in that, in that sense, yeah, take responsibility and, 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 and not in a blaming way. We have to ditch all of the judgment. Those are such low frequencies. If you're putting out judgment, you attract more judgment. If you put out fear, you attract fear. If you put out hate, you attract hate. So switch all of those vibrations. And, and if we stop being so reactive and start to be more resilient, again, we're gonna see that huge shift. So I just, to anyone, I say, just explore, really study everyone. I think another person I'm gonna recommend for sure is Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's probably one of the most transformative teachers I've ever experienced because he really makes, he connects all the dots. You know, he has the science and he, and he teaches that what the ancient mystics were, were talking about and teaching, that's what the modern day science is now validating and saying as well. So we have the ancient, wisdom and then we have the modern day science and if, if it's the same thing then that's our solution right there there's nothing outside of that that's going to transcend you know solutions and hope for humanity so it's just that's our reality we just have to accept it and explore it more exactly explore it with an open an, an open heart and an open mind yes right and um, i think as well that not every tool that is out there like for example kundalini activation process is not for everyone right it's, it's for some people that are more sensitive to age or more and and there are other tools as well there is so many things that that can um, get you there you know? and uh, it's, it, there is this in all the ways all the paths takes you to Rome or something like that. <laughs> I know that in Spanish, I don't know. Is there it in English? This is said like all paths can oh. can take you to Rome. Yeah. Yeah? You have yeah, it like, in English. Yeah, um all all roads lead to Rome or something. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Exactly, all roads lead lead to Rome. Exactly. So it's about being open and also I would say that uh, this is something I learned in Buddhism when I was starting all of this many, many years ago. And, um, and they, there, there was someone saying, uh, once look for that that connects you the most, and once you find one, stay in that. Stay in the path and do that right. Because it doesn't matter what it is. It, it, you only need to connect with that and to stay there. And we need to also take a bit care of, of our attitude when chopping around the tools, right? Because then we find ourselves that we took the consumption of the society in, in, in this capitalistic way, let's say, that we are taking it also to the spirituality and we are making the spirituality a chop, chopping mall where we can consume a lot of stuff. You know, you see the books, there are a lot, a lot of things you can do. So it's good to chop around, right? And to find something that is going to to help you most and this you feel it you feel it in your heart and once you find it stay with that and do it a, a while stay in the path and, and learn this technique that is going to take you deeper in in this process like if you find a meditation technique do it right stay with it stick with it and let the meditation take you like surrender to it, right? And let it take you to these deeper levels of consciousness. Yes, and I love that you mentioned meditation because I think that a lot of people will try to meditate or they think that they can't meditate, they get frustrated with it, when really we all know how to meditate. It's just finding what works for you. For some people, it's a guided meditation. For me, it's to, it's the Qigong, it's adding the movement piece to it. So if, if anyone has not tried Qigong, 
I uh, have some free videos on uh, Dream Bold Network that I really encourage everyone to try just to start to feel your inner magnetism, to feel your life force energy. And when you learn to modulate that energy and you learn to really connect the mind and the body and, and to really use your internal energy to create these ripples and, and you know, really attract whatever you want in the in the quantum field, that's that's what changed my I'll always keep the, the foundation, like you're saying, of finding the thing that really works for you. For me, it's Qigong, and that's my foundation. And then I just keep adding all these other things, and, it, and you create your own practice. There's, there's no one set path for everybody. You know, that's the thing with spirituality and with energy healing. It's all experimenting. Maybe for one person, they love acupuncture, but for the next person, that's not for them. And then the next person, you know, it's the, the song singing bowls or it's binaural beats. You know, there's all, all these avenues. But there, and there's the beautiful thing too with this, Sophia, is that there's so many um, free things online. You can just go on YouTube and type in sound healing, guided meditation, visualization, DNA repair. I mean, there, everything's there. And if, if you think about sound healing, that's energy and frequency and vibration. These are the original forms of healing. I mean, in ancient culture. We're all about dancing for a reason. It creates vibration, you know? And so I, I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, at least dance every day for 10 minutes. Put some music on and dance because you're expelling energy that's you know stagnant, stuck in the body. You're circulating more life force energy and you're going into your day in a higher vibration. So instead of waking up and calling your friend to complain about things in your life, put on an upbeat song and dance and play more. You know, we need to get more playful and have fun. Yes, with that's true, yeah. But Dreamville Network is all about it's how do we make our solutions fun? How do we make this a little bit more sensual and playful and um, and just, you know, innate? Like it doesn't have to be this hard grueling work. Yes, it takes work to rewire yourself and recalibrate, you know, everything within it and to really, you know, reprogram your subconscious mind. What we need to we need to do that right now individually and then obviously collectively is put in a new program. We are not these helpless fearful little beings we are strong warriors you know and we need to really channel the energy of our ancestors the strength that they had to get through things that were a lot harder than what we're going through you know and so we don't have to we don't have to be feeling like this we, we really don't and that's what i love about the qigong as well it just it, it really helps you to to modulate your your um, emotions and your thoughts and to really just feel free don't we all want to feel free and liberated? I, you know, I, I know that this year there's so much going on and so much stress, but because of the, my practice, I've been able to smile and laugh every single day. Every day, <laughs> and it's not that things aren't going wrong. It's you know, it's constant, you know, obstacles and challenges and, and everything. But I refuse to let this year and what's going on bring my vibration down because then I'm going to manifest much much lower much less abundance than what i would normally be attracting so it we have to have to have to have an energy practice absolutely yes yes so and you said you are teaching qigong yes yeah and you you do it presential uh i mean life in in la you do it Yes, I do it in LA. I do it um, usually in nature. I love being barefoot on the beach, teaching a group of people. I um, you know, in a, you know, private groups. I'll do it anywhere. I, and, you know, but could I teach it virtually? Of course. Yeah, if anybody would love, uh, you know, a session, I can do it you know, just like this on a Zoom call and, and teach for sure. And it, it just even in one class, it you, you transform instantly. It's you know, I, we call it you know, reconnecting and, and kind of this coming home sense of. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. This is my real self. This is my higher self. This is the divine mm -hmm. intelligence. It, you know, I'm, I'm embodying it. And then you you realize, wait a minute, wait a minute. The the social narrative, this the stories I've been telling myself, they're not working anymore. That's not gonna that's not gonna work moving forward. And you learn to really release your past, be more present, and create your future more consciously. So it, it's. It's a mind-blowing practice. I, I will be teaching for the rest of my life. <laughs> it. Wow, great. <laughs> yes. yes. So we still, I think we have something like 10 minutes. Okay. And uh, yes, so I, I don't know if you would like to add something. To... Oh, I mean, I could talk about this stuff forever, for sure. I, yes. I think right now what I really want people to know is is that you you have way more gifts, way more potential, and way more abilities than you're aware of. Because
because we weren't taught how to do this. And so if you start your day off by setting intentions for the day, by really incorporating positive affirmations and, and whatever you want to declare to the universe, make sure you start it off with I am, I am peace, I am love, I am free. Just keep saying it and saying it and saying it. That's going to reprogram your subconscious mind. And, and that's the work that, that we're talking about. It's you have to really hold yourself accountable. And so hold yourself accountable, but also be really gentle with yourself because there is a lot going on. There is a lot of stress. And just learn how to use your body to slow your mind down. When, you're, when you have that monkey mind and your thoughts are everywhere and it's just chaos up here, put your hands on your heart or you know just really slow down and connect close your eyes really send yourself some some unconditional love because whatever you're sending to yourself you're going to then send that out to everybody else so you know we have to stop judging each other we've got to stop doing it because that's just going to we're going to spin a circle drop you know we're, we're going to circle the train and just keep going down that path forget the judgment forget the blame forget all of that anger and all of these low frequencies and just I'm gonna get into me right here blank canvas detached from the past and really just rise energetically and whatever that is for you just have fun with it you know really you know there's no right or wrong way just explore and really you know step into your power i really want humanity to realize we're all superhuman every single one of us is a superhuman we just got cut off and disconnected from our our truth and now we're we're, we're, we're rediscovering it so you know have fun with it <laughs> great <laughs> yes that is true we have to reconnect with all what we really are and again let go of what we are not and what we are certainly not is all the stories we tell of ourselves, <laughs> the programs, and and this personality, right? Like we get all of these personality tests and in internet and enneagram and all of this stuff, which is very helpful. Helpful. It it can be helpful in your self knowledge journey, but it's not the it's not something that defines you as a human being, as, as the powerful creators that we are. All of that personality things are very short in describing what we really are and what we really can do. And, and the truth of all of this, I always say to people in my, in my workshops, don't believe anything I say just experience it experience it by yourself go within find your truth and go with it once you find it just go with it get it very tight and don't let it go and go with it forever like with your heart the life the life that is there emanate, emanating to to all your body, to everyone, to, to this world. And it's going to guide us, it's going to tell us every time, it tells us if something is wrong, something is right. It's very, very wise. And, and it's a knowing, like every one of us knows, you know, when we kind of think something, something is not right, and then you didn't do it, and then you regret it. No, this is this happens many times, and nobody has told me that they had a feeling of something and they did it, and it was wrong. Nobody. So, uh, if we keep conscious about it, like being truth to ourselves, it takes also to find our truth and to stay very, very close to it, and being faithful to it and being trust, uh, how do you say it? Yes, um, trustworthy or something. Is it that you say something like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I get German words coming to me, like... Um... <laughs> You're absolutely 
we have we all have an inner warning system our body alerts us if something is right or wrong good or bad you know and we have to trust that and we have to listen to that and the more you listen to your instincts and that inner voice and really realize that all of the answers are actually within you and the divine intelligence is trying to work through you have you know have more faith in yourself and in this whole process and you yeah, know faith it, and you and you made another great point as well as humans we don't we don't fit well in these little boxes all these titles that you're this 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 you're, you know we always want our relationship status our job title our you know whatever it may be we want all these titles but that's actually what divides us all it puts us all in these itty bitty boxes and if we can just let that go we can say you know what no more we're all one every single one of us it's love divine oneness we are all one we're each just an energy frequency we don't need to be defined by our titles and our stories and and the projections of other people we need to we need to really just go within and shed all of that you know it's it's like when a snake sheds its skin we each and collectively need to shed some layers right now and say you know what this is not serving us anymore and shed that and free ourselves like you mentioned earlier letting go let's let this go all of these disempowering stories ditch them and come up with a more life affirming narrative you know we're writing the script this isn't something that's predetermined you know and we can feel the, those in power that are trying to write a, a script for us and we don't like that script so let's 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 get rid of that and let's say you know what no we're going to be powerful creators and we're going to create a new reality where we're all connected with heart energy and we're all unified and working together you know i think that's really just like your name find within your heart yeah the answers are in your heart literally <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know it is like that. I found it. I found all my truth in my heart and once I had it, I I I didn't let it go. And and every day there are situations, no, where where I I am challenged to do other things and then I I always step back a bit and say, "Well, what does my heart want right now?" And and i i try to be always loving to tell people even love sometimes also has to say no right we just need to talk from the heart and to tell it from the heart and people most of the people understand so yes i think we are coming to an end otherwise we get cut off <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Kate for this time. Yeah. And thank you, thank you really from my heart. And thank you to everybody who has joined today and um I see you next time in another live event maybe with Kate again. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Thank you and if you everybody that has joined if you would like to experience Qigong go to the Dream uh, Bold network and check there uh, the videos from Kate uh, practicing Qigong and if you would like to try the Kundalini activation process I have an online session every fourth Monday of the month next Monday actually is coming up one and you can uh join it by clicking in my bio and you find there the whole information yes thank you so much kate thank you to everyone who joined today thank you <laughs> bye thank you bye <laughs>